from Cam Smith to Rory McIlroy, a lot of guys can claim to be the best in the world right now, but there's one player that sits above the rest. I'm talking about the man, the myth, the legend, John Rahm. He's currently sitting pretty at the top of the golf world rankings, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. John Rahm is not your average PGA Tour pro. He holds himself to a higher standard than most, and he's constantly pushing himself to be better. So let's talk about John Rahm's first round at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And boy, did he make a statement. After a disappointing start to the tournament, Rahm had a lot to prove, and he didn't disappoint. With an impressive score of 68, he shot his way back into contention. But it wasn't just his score that impressed me. It was his focus and composure on the course. Despite a rocky start, Rahm kept his cool and fought his way back. It's clear that he's not just a great golfer, but also a great competitor. And let's not forget his incredible shot on the 16th hole. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. It was like watching a magician pull a rabbit out of a hat. It was that good. Overall, Rahm's first round was a great reminder of why he's still considered one of the best golfers in the world. But this is just the beginning. There's still a lot of golf left to play, and I can't wait to see what Rahm has in store for us. It's even more impressive when you think about the course conditions and challenges he had to face during the Arnold Palmer Invitational. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge course is notoriously difficult, with narrow fairways, thick rough, and undulating greens. And to make matters worse, the course was particularly wet and windy on the day of Rahm's first round. Now, I don't know about you, but playing in the rain is already hard enough as it is. Add in the wind and the tough course conditions, and you've got yourself a real challenge. But did that stop John Rahm from bringing his A game? Absolutely not. Despite the tough conditions, Rahm was able to navigate the course with ease, hitting some incredible shots that left even his competitors in awe. And while other players were struggling to keep their shots on the fairway, Rahm was able to hit a remarkable 8 out of 14 fairways in regulation. Just a little left to take the lead. And you just wonder. It's no secret that the course conditions were far from ideal, but John Rahm's performance in the face of adversity is a true testament to his skill. He proved that he's not just a fair weather golfer, but someone who can rise to the occasion no matter what challenges lie ahead. The dude was on fire, and he owes a lot of that to his wicked short game. Now, normally, when you miss a green at Bay Hill, you're in some deep rough or some tricky bunker. But not John Rahm. Nope. This guy has got a short game that could make a magician blush. Seriously, though, Rahm was a beast around the greens, saving par four times after missing greens. He was like a ninja, sneaking up on those difficult lies and making it look easy. And let's talk about those putts. This guy could read the greens like he was staring at a Dr. Seuss book. One of his best saves was at the par 5 16th hole, where he drained a 24 foot putt for par. I mean, come on, who does that? John Rahm, that's who. And don't even get me started on how he handled those long putts. He was like a sniper, taking out those tricky putts like they were nothing. Overall, Rahm's short game was a thing of beauty. He had the touch of an artist and the precision of a surgeon. Now it's time to talk about John Rahm's impressive finish at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. This is where things really start to heat up. So after a solid start to the round, Rom came into the final stretch looking to make a statement. And boy, did he ever. On the par 5 16th hole, Rom launched a towering 5-iron shot that landed perfectly on the green, setting up a 24-foot eagle putt. That's right, 24 feet. And what did he do? He drained it. No sweat. Then on the par 3 17th, Rom hit his tee shot to just two feet. That's like throwing a dart. He tapped in for birdie and moved on to the final hole. Now, you might be thinking, okay, that's great, but can he keep it up on the last hole? Well, let me tell you, he sure did. Rom hit his approach shot on the 18th to just six feet. Six feet! And what did he do? He buried the putt for birdie. That's how you finish a round, folks. Four under in his last three holes, just like that. And you know what? It's performance.
performances like this that show why Rom has won five times worldwide since August. You know, the outward emotion, but tell you what, I'd rather have a guy super competitive. He's an absolute machine. I mean, seriously, who else can hit a five iron that high and make a 24 foot putt look like a tap in? Not me, that's for sure. And let's not forget about that two footer on the 17th, which was probably shorter than my putter. All jokes aside though, this kind of finish is what separates the good players from the great ones. And I'd be interested to know if this is one of those. It's what makes people sit up and take notice. And it's exactly why John Rahm is still number one. This guy is an absolute beast on the course. And a big reason for that is his unwavering belief in himself. I mean, this guy is so confident, he probably thinks he could hit a hole in one blindfolded. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Easy read. Man, this guy, this guy right now. Rom's mentality is all about performing under pressure, and he's got the skills to back it up. He's always looking to improve his game, and he's not afraid to put in the work to make that happen. He's like a mad scientist out there, always tinkering with his swing and trying out new shots. But despite all that hard work, Rom never loses sight of the big picture. He knows that golf is a mental game as much as it is a physical one. He's He's got the mental toughness to stay calm and focused even when the pressure is on. And let's not forget about his expectations for himself. This guy doesn't settle for mediocrity. No sir. He's always pushing himself to be the best he can be, and he's not satisfied unless he's competing at the highest level. All of this adds up to one thing. At four and five. And there's your answer. Success. When you've got the talent, the work ethic, and the mindset to back it up, you're going to achieve great things. And that's exactly what Rom is doing. He's one of the best golfers in the world. And he's not done yet. Watch out, golf world. This guy's got big plans. So, Rom might not have won the Arnold Palmer Invitational, but he definitely proved why he's still number one. His incredible first round, where he saved par four times with his short game was nothing short of miraculous. And let's not forget his impressive finish, where he closed out with a birdie eagle birdie run that left everyone in awe. But what really sets Rom apart is his mindset and expectations. He's always pushing himself to be better and has an unshakable belief in his ability to perform under pressure. That kind of confidence is what separates the champion from the mere mortals. So, if you were wondering why John Rahm is still considered one of the best players in the world, that's why.